So All right, I just got done watching uh, Sailor Moon I see the R, also Sailor Moon Season 2, uh, Episode 26. Uh, this is also uh, Episode 65 of the overall s- series. It's called... It's the, it's the battle to Heartless, the Tragic Sisters <laughs> Transcription. Um, this episode follows the same uh, main pattern that yeah, the past the three have been following. Except, oh, what? Do you guys... Did you guys watch the show? Have you, have you ever watched game? Angel Beats, bro? Well, I thought you were playing uh, Minecraft, right? Yeah, this, this is... This and, um, uh... In this episode, uh... Same sort of thing happens. Uh, except the final two sisters are coming to attack. And, uh, the... Mainly, uh... They learn to use teamwork to stop the, the threat. Teamwork is used to stop the threat. Which is, uh, a big wand that's making a black hole. And, uh... The two other sisters realize that Rubius has been using them. He doesn't care about them. And then they all use teamwork to... First of all, the other two siblings use teamwork to save one of them from uh, the stronger of the, the eldest sister. Yeah, the eldest sister pets, shows up. Pets the Zed. She's, uh, she's feeling like she doesn't give an F about... And, um, yeah, basically the two other sisters are saved, the Phantom Sisters. And uh, the two biggest takeaways from the episode. It was a great episode again because it followed the new formula, which is saving the sisters. Let me talk about that. Uh, Yeah, it's it's that. So I've been getting very sick of the sort of freak of the week formula where the girls come in and she does her Sailor Moon power and it saves the day and we go back to status quo. So now we're playing with these four sisters and we got one of the sisters two episodes ago. We got another sister last episode and then now this episode we played with like a bigger scale, even within that, which is kind of breaking the formula, right? Yep. This was well, this is the culmination of the formula, and yeah. I think the next what's coming from here is the battle against Rubius, the final. Hundred yeah. percent. And um, the I, big. I think that might be a two part. Yeah, the biggest um, takeaway from this episode of what happened was. Um, I'm not just turn it on a little bit. Well, I still keep it on. It I is a banger. Um. The biggest, uh, two main things happened. This is Rubius found out that Usagi has the silver crystal. And another thing, which I've been waiting for, and this is the type of fan service I love, is Shibuyusa was hiding and said, I need to go find the sailor soldiers so they can save my friends. And she's looking out a window and she finds out that her friends yes, actually that, that's are actually, we missed very that. pivotal. The most crucial thing that happens in this is that their Chibi Moon knows that Usagi is sailor. And, and, was at the rest and we haven't seen any interaction with them. Roles. We haven't seen any interaction with them yet, with this knowledge. But will Chibiusa start to respect Sailor Moon more, or is she gonna uh, be upset? Sorry, no, will perhaps. Chibiusa respect Usagi more, or will she now think that Sailor Moon is less competent because she knows it's Usagi? Yeah. It can go one of two ways. It seems I think like it's she's being someone. Knows. She's impressed. She looks impressed. Yeah. And, um, yeah, basically the episode ended with the four Phantom Sisters opening up a beauty shop because they're always obsessed with their beauties and looking good. So, mm-hmm. happy ending. It was a good episode. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, it was a fantastic uh, episode, truly. Um, Say the line. I thought that it was one of those, it felt like a part one of four, though. Yeah. Which is, no, this felt like a, which is like, it's better than, like, a nothing episode. I feel like this p- felt like, like a part lot of three. what we were given uh, tonight, honestly. I feel like this felt like a part three of four. You know, rather this than felt a, like a part three of a, of a part four that is two episodes. Okay, I'd say this feels like if we're watching the last four of these ep- last three of these episodes as a movie, this is the end of the second act. Yes, right now. 100%. The yeah. first two episodes of the first act, this was the second act, and it concluded. Yeah. So now we're going into the final. We're about to get into a nasty third act. We're about to get into a nasty third act, but also on the bigger thing, um, this arc is different than other arcs because um, a lot of the arcs, I think... Uh, with, in terms of the Dark Kingdom bad guys, uh, relied more on sort of pseudo romance. Um, yes. With Jadites, you were kind of playing with age. Um, with the bad guys, even before Jedi, you were playing with uh, sexuality. This but is now, not a now we're playing thing. with with family and relationship. Love, love, not not sexual love, but love of friends, and they save each other, saying you're my 100%, friend. Yeah. And we've had the thing with and it's the sailors. The sailors kind of using their powers to bring these sisters into their fold. And with this arc, there's been no romance between characters, and even the villains and characters. With the twins, we had um, the one twin who was in love with Mamoru, 
Mm-hmm. And we had Usagi, who was in love with the other twin. And they're all exactly. kind of trying to get with each other in a romantic sense. Well, this arc has been purely love this is and friendship, idea. but family love this and friendship. Thing, so. And uh, I think we'll leave it at that. Um, power of friendship. Okay, power before, of... I say, before I say talk about the power of friendship, listen to the Angel Beats OST. Maybe watch Angel Beats. Very good series. Give it a sec. This piano bit. The kind of EDM piano bit. Fantastic. Underrated score. Um, that being said, uh, we're getting into more interesting Sailor Moon finally. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I didn't stop it. Yeah, thank you for watching.